Hey, welcome back to the sleeper. I was talking to my dad today, and we got to talking about uh, just about uh, checking credit on uh, brokers and things like that, and about how technology's technology's pretty good now. I mean, people can't really run and hide if they have bad credit. Uh, you can see a lot of their history, you know, their how many days they usually pay, things like that. It's 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 a good time to where you can check a lot of that stuff. And it got me thinking about factoring companies. And if you ask me, factoring companies are are kind of the scum of the earth. I had a I had a short run in with them when I first started my business, and it lasted about four months, I guess. And I got some good information from people, and I kind of wised up. And it was hard to get away from them, and that's why. Uh, I want to make this video because maybe someone won't make the same mistake I made. So if you don't know, when you when you go to, uh, like I, I've mentioned before, um, all my outbound freight is uh, kind of contracted. I don't, uh, I just use uh, brokers to uh, get back home. So uh, I use uh, DAT uh, load board for my backhauls to get back home. And uh, when you haul a load for a broker, normally it's uh, you're on 30-day terms. Uh, when you pick it up, deliver it, you send your paperwork in, they've got 30 days to pay you. But what the deal is, um, more and more what they're doing now is uh, providing you with a quick pay if you want it. And uh, let's use TQL for an example, Total Quality Logistics. And I don't, I don't use them much anymore. I used to use them a lot. I think in the last six months I've only used them one time. It's not because I don't like them, it just didn't work out. And loads were not at the right place. So what, I know what they'll do. I just use them for an example. And a lot of them are, you know, they're a lot alike. Um, if you want to be paid the same day or the next day, I can't remember, it's 5% of your of your invoice. To be, to be paid in uh, 15 days, it's 3%. But I'll do a little uh, bragging on TQL. Um, they, never, they never go the full 30 days. Usually it's paid off in... Uh, 20 or less actually I couldn't believe how fast the check came this time and that was mailed and everything so uh, I wouldn't waste your money if you do need the money the next day um, I guess but it's 5% of your invoice but uh, I wouldn't bother with the the 3% in 15 days because they'll pretty much give you you know if you can wait five more days you don't have to pay anything but really, before the brokers started providing this, and and uh, I, I mean personally, and I've done it, but I don't do it anymore. Um, so I mean, like I say, try to. Uh, uh, that's why I'm making this video, so somebody else will learn from my mistakes and maybe not do the same thing I did. Um, but before, um, you know, brokers provided that quick pay. You had factoring companies. And uh, what a factoring company is, is you haul a load for a broker or a shipper, you send a factoring company your invoice, and they will pay you. <clears throat> but less 5%. That's what the one I used with, took 5%. Then the broker that you hauled the load for sends the payment directly to the factoring company, so they get the whole thing. And that's how they that's how they make their money but they're uh, they're they're a dirty bunch I mean they really are and I think I kind of coined this phrase I've never heard anybody else say it uh, maybe they have but um, you know like the Eagles song the Hotel California well factoring company is kind of like the Hotel California because uh, how's that go uh, uh, you can check out you can check in anytime you want but you can never leave yeah that's kind of how they are what they'll do is, and this is what they did to me, and uh, I know for a fact they tried to. What they'll try to do is, uh, once you invo once you factor one load with that particular broker, until they until that invoice is paid to the factoring company, until they're made whole, you have to send every load that you haul for that particular broker. Every load has to be uh, factored until they are until every invoice is paid and they and the factoring company has made a hole again you have to use them that's why you're stuck with them you're trapped with them even if you don't want to use them anymore 
Uh, the only way to really get out of it is just stop hauling for that broker, wait till everything is paid, then you can be released from them. So I went through that with these dirt bags. That's what they, uh, I know, I know for a fact because they were a good, uh, I just made the mistake of factoring a load. But the, uh, the uh, broker I was using, they were a long time, we did a lot of business together, and I trusted them. I said, uh, is everything, have all these invoices been paid? They said, yes, they're all paid. Well, I called the factoring company. I said, okay, I don't want to use you guys anymore. Uh, release me. And they said, uh, uh, we've not, these, we've, we're not whole yet. And I said, okay. So I called the broker back. I said, are you sure all this has been paid? Yes, yes, yes. It was paid weeks ago. So now what the factoring company I believe was trying to do to me is starve me long enough where I have to go through them because they know if I send that into them then their money next day but they get the five per they get the five percent so what I started doing was I have nothing to do but drive 11 hours a day I would just call them multiple times a day you know hey is that invoice been paid no not yet two hours later hey is that invoice been paid just it took me about two days of just every couple hours calling them. I think I bugged them long enough. They finally paid. They finally said, yes, we have it. Okay, you release. And I never used them again, and I never will use them again. And, uh, yeah, so I've got a little breakdown here on the paper. Um, not only was it costing you, but something I think, and I didn't think of this. This is somebody else thought of this. I'm just trans, I'm just showing you, and I probably would have never realize this but this is the way it is so let me show you what's going on here okay I got you a little breakdown worked out here maybe you can understand a little better I know I'm not the best to explain this stuff so when you have the agreement with the broker it's normally they'll pay in 30 days that's the agreement so all the factor is doing is advancing you money that you would have anyway in 30 days so let's just use fifteen thousand dollars a month for an example so they're going to take five percent of that that's seven hundred and fifty dollars a month that's nine thousand dollars a year that's a lot of money to give up just to get paid fast when you'd have it if you just wait every month for your 30 days to come up you'd keep every nickel of this it's a lot of money to be thrown away so when you go borrow money you're usually doing on a 12 month 12 month term that's a uh, annual percentage rate so if you took a five percent loan on 30 days it's like equivalent to 60 percent annual percentage rate because you'd have that money in 30 days so fifteen thousand a month 12 months that's a hundred eighty thousand dollars a year you know you're not you're not getting they're not doing five percent of that they're doing five percent of fifteen thousand twelve different times so that's where I'm getting my 60% annual percentage rate because you would have that money in 30 days. 9,000 dinero, 9,000 bucks, that's a lot of money to be given up. I mean, you'd be better off, honestly. And I'm not, and I did the same, I did the same mistake, but don't do what I did. That's why I'm making this video because I, I just can't not stand factoring companies. I can't stand people throwing all this money away like this because it, <laughs> I guess I'm mad because they got me. But the best thing to do would be save the money up and then have a you know, large sum of money where you don't have to mess with these guys. Probably the second, I don't know, you could get a line of credit. That's better than this. Or uh, even if they would give you a $15,000 loan, then you could cash flow yourself uh, the rest of the year and you'd have 12 months to pay the 15000 back. So, I mean, that's... I don't know, just a little food for thought, but that's what you're giving up. I mean, you would have your money in 30 days. That's why I say it's just like 60% annual percentage rate. Okay, so I hope some of you get something from that, maybe give you something to think about. And, uh, yeah, don't be a dummy like me. Do, do it right the first time. So thanks for watching, and, uh, hey, if you like this uh, video or, or, uh, or my channel, uh, I think I'm going to do some more videos like this. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of the driving stuff. So if you like this channel, let's, uh, let's get it growing a little bit. Hit the subscribe. Give her one of these. And uh, thanks for watching.